So let's get started. First, we take the bottom plate and our bolts. Stick the bolts through the holes. This is just to make it easier to flip it over. Note that the porthole is toward me so that the next plate, instead of being in the same line at the same, will be at the top. I'll set this plate up here and I'll lower it. First, we're going to start off with a gasket. First few that you put on, that went on very easy. The first few you put on usually doesn't go that easy. Keeping in mind that the porthole is the bottom on this one, you want to turn the plates. I actually should have them all turned. Like I say, you normally wear gloves, but make sure that you've got clean hands. Put your first one in place. And here comes the fun part, getting it to drop. But once you do, notice the tab for the connection is on this side. Come back with another gasket. These plates have already been cleaned, sanded, and cleaned again. Come back with a second plate. Drop it down. Go with another gasket. Another plate. Alternating every other plate. You could put all the connections on one side, but that would not give you enough room to make your connections your electrical connections. We want to use 10 gauge wire so it won't get hot. Go with another gasket. Another plate. I used 100 grit sandpaper. I actually put it in a, a jig sander and that made it a lot easier on my hands. And it seemed to have done a a fairly good job. I have one extra plate here. I have several extra plates, but put that plate to the side. You end with a gasket just like you began with a gasket. Remembering to put the when I put the other end on it, I'm keeping the hole on this one at the top. Remember the other one was at the bottom. That's for the fill up. This is for the exhaust side. This is where the gas is coming out of. Come back and put washers. You can use lock washers, but I'm using just small fender washers for now. And when you're putting these, when you are torquing these, and I'm just doing it hand tight right now, but when you go to torque these, make sure you do it more in a star pattern, like you would be doing if you were changing a tire on a car or putting a wheel back on a car. What that does is it ensures that you're getting even pressure all the way around. You don't ever want to over tighten this material for a gasket or any other material for a gasket as you're liable to damage the gasket. And believe me, it's nothing more aggravating than to fill these things up with electrolyte and have to go back and tear it back apart to repair a little bit of a small problem with your gasket. And I've already taken the liberty of putting Teflon tape on these, as I said earlier, and for these particular fittings, uh, these fittings are, uh, I think it's a half inch, uh, anyway that's what that was, and I tapped it out, and they should go on in there, no problem, really. line up very well, and once you put the uh, Teflon tape on there, there's nothing like a trusty Craftsman 5 8 wrench. This being the top where the gas will come out and this is the end that will go out to your bubbler. These connections here are you can choose hot, negative, hot, negative or you can have your neutrals in here. Uh, your electrolyte is going to make a big difference. Uh, but have fun. Be careful.